to just one and we're back with another video. I'm gonna show you how to get an attack of the B team server. Now why I'm doing this, I've already done an attack of the B team series, and I cannot see any videos on uh, YouTube on how to get an attack of the BCT server on Mac with port forwarding. So I'm gonna show you how to do this plus port forwarding. So let's start. First off, you're gonna go to this website, I'll have the link in the description, and you're gonna hit server download right into that thing. Now that's gonna start downloading. Now that will take a while. I'm um, not gonna take two hours, it's gonna take a bit less than that. Mine took about three minutes, but I've already prepared the download just so I didn't have to, just so you guys, just so I didn't have to pause or anything. So after you've got this, you just wanna double click it, and it's gonna um, open up this thing here. Okay, so then you're going to get this. Now, you're going to have all these things. Now, what you're going to do is, is you're going to create the uh, start dot command code, and I'm going to have that in the description, and I'll be back when I get that. Hey, guys, I finished that now. So, you no longer need this file, but I'm just going to keep it there just because I can. Now, you're going to go in, you're going to open up text edit. So, you're just going to go in here, hit text edit, open that one up, and just going to wait. For it until it opens up. Then you're going to hit new document. You're then going to go into format, make plain text, and then you're going to paste this. This is going to be in the description. So now I'm going to change this um, to 2 gigabyte because if you come in here and you go to about this Mac, it will tell you here your memory is 4 gigabytes. So usually when you have a server, if you want the server to be smooth, you half that. So half of 4 gigabytes is 2 gigabytes. So I'm going to change this to 2GB. So that stands for 2 gigabytes. And change it here as well. 2GB. Then what you're going to do is, is you're going to save this to your desktop and you're going to call it whatever you want. So start, I'm going to name mine start. And then you're going to have to put dot command. So whatever you want in here and then after it has to be dot command. And you're just going to save this to your desktop. Like that. And it's going to say start dot command. And you're going to hit save. By the way, guys, you can rename this folder if you want to. So you can call it Attack of the B Team Server, but I'm going to leave mine like that. Um, just because I like to. Then you're going to drag that in there, and then yours might say start got to man, start got, start dot command, and it might not. Now you need to give, give this permission to run. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to open up terminal, and you're going to type in, just wait for this to load, chmod a plus x and then remember to okay my terminal just stuffed up on me then I'm gonna reopen my terminal okay here we go ch mod a plus x space remember to have the space there and then type that in exactly then what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna drag this in from there to there and you're gonna hit enter and that's just gonna come back with that and then you can close that now if you double click um, start this will open up what? What's that mean? Okay, guys, I'm going to be back when I figured out the problem. Okay, guys, very minor error. What I did wrong was, if you open this with text edit, what my problem was is I put 2GB, you need to just minimize this B. It just needs to be 2G, and then you can just hit Command S and save it, and again, just minor error. So now this should start up and work. Yep, so here it goes. And then that's just going to load up, and you're going to wait until it says done. Just waiting. It takes a while, so you might see it pause like this for a few seconds. Don't be alarmed, it's supposed to happen. And then when this Java thing comes up, that is good. So this is like the Delphi. If you get it like a normal um, server, like not a bucket server, you're going to get this. So this is just um, this file here. So this is the... Minecraft server. And what an Attack of the B Team server is, it's really just a Forge server, just it comes with all the mods. That's why you download it, it just has all the mod folders in it. But really, you could do this yourself, it's just set up a Forge server and then drag all the mods from Attack of the B Team in there. Because that's what a mod pack is, it's just a thing that loads all your mods into Minecraft. So really, you could do it yourself on your normal Minecraft launcher, you just drag in all your mods from Attack of the B Team. So really, that's all this is. So this is going to start up now. And then this is going this is going to have the main one. So it's gonna start Minecraft server on 25565. That's the default port. That's what you want. 
And we'll get into port forwarding um, later. So you can just wait for this. And this is just going to generate everything. This could take a while because there's a lot of mods that it's trying to load here. This gives the more detailed one. This gives the not so detailed one. Um, but you can still type stuff into here and that's just more detail that tells you that all the mods are loading. That one doesn't tell you that. Oh no, it's loading Qcraft. I guess it tells you that one because that must just be a special type of mod. Um, so now it's going to prepare the world. So it's going to prepare start region. So it's preparing the spawn. So it's generating a world right now. I'm preparing my spawn area. So see, there's my world there. So it's generating that. So it's like when you hit a single play button and you hit um, start. But this is going to take a bit longer to prepare the world, considering all the mods in here that it needs to load. So there's going to need to be new ores. And it needs to generate a bit differently. But again, if you would have this on your um, single player, it would probably take just as long, maybe, long maybe longer. Okay, so now this is starting up. And a few seconds, okay. So now this is done. So it will say done like that, and what you're going to type in here is stop. And that's just going to stop the server. Now, you can type this on this one or that one, it does not matter. Um, so this is just going to save everything. So that is an important step to doing stuff. So, yeah. And that's just going to stop. Okay, saving chunks. So here are all the d different dimensions. Overworld, Nether, The End, Promised Land, Spirit World, Torment, Tropics. Yeah, so now that's closed and this will say process complete. And then you have to just close terminal. And then you see here you have all these new uh, things. So now all these new mods and all these new folders and stuff. Now you've made the server. So now we're going to get into some properties. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to go to server.properties and you're going to hit open with text edit. Now it'll probably already be done, we'll probably already open with text edit. Now I'm going to go through these properties with you, you can skip this part, um, I'll have a little annotation up on the screen now that will tell you when to skip to. Okay so, um, and allow nether, so this is just an allow nether, uh, true or false. So you can have this, I'm just going to put mine um, true, false, I'm going to put mine true because it's already generated the nether. Um, that will still just turn it off even if it's true. And now if, oh, allow flight, I'm going to have that true, and enable query, I'm going to have that true. That doesn't really do much. Server port, do not change that. It needs to stay the way it is. Level type, biome shop, so it will automatically default leap. It will automatically defaultly generate a biomes of plenty world. So that if that's what you want, then that's what it automatically does. Enable Archon, false, false game modes. That will just it won't let you change your game mode if you have that true. So I'm gonna have that false. Level C, if you do want to put a seed in there, you can put it in. Server IP, you do not need to put that in um, at all. So that's not um, you don't need that unless you are not an administrator. If you are not an administrator, then you need to put that in. But I'm an admin, so I can do it. Uh, max build height, that's how high you can build. Spawn NPCs, that's just villages. I'm going to have that true. Whitelist, false. So if you have whitelist, no one can come on unless you put them in the whitelist here. So I'm going to put in my Minecraft account, SecretX2002. Now if I enable that, only SecretX2002 can come in. So that's what that does. Spawn animals, true. So that's just spawn animals. Hardcore, false. That's a texture pack. So if you can put a texture pack in there, and that will make sure that it that you have to have that texture pack. Some servers have it. Snooper mode. That's just like your statistics. Online mode. You've got to have that on. PvP. That's if you want PvP. Difficulty. Zero's peaceful. Zero's peaceful. One's easy. Two's normal. Three's hard. Game mode. Zero. Zero's survival. One's creative, two is adventure, player idle timeout. So if you put that in, that's how many seconds it takes for you to um, like timeout. So if you're just sitting there and doing nothing, it will kick you. So if it's zero, then I think the Delphit is, I think, a minute. Um, max players, how many players you want on your server. I'm going to change mine to five because otherwise it takes up more RAM. Spawn monsters, that's your choice. I'm going to put that to false. Generate structures, true, that's like strongholds and villages and stuff. 
View distance, that's how far you can build. I have mine on 14, how far you can view. And MOTD, so when you come up on the server, this is what it's going to say, an attack of the B team server, I could put hello, and we can see that in a second when we get our thing saved. So then you're just going to have to save that, and you can quit that, and then you have server logs and all that sort of stuff. Config for your mods, so all those are in there. Flan, if you want to drag in more flan packs. Hats. All the hats that are in there, libraries, uh, you don't need to worry about any of that. And then here's all your mods. So there are all the mods. You, if you, you can add more to this, but you will have to add more to your Attack of the B team, and your friends will have to add those mods as well. So now, um, we can go on to the port forwarding. So what you're going to do is just get started. If you're on a Mac, you're going to go to System Preferences, and you're just going to wait for this. You're going to go to Network. You are then going to hit the Wi-Fi you're connected to, so I'm connected to that one. You're going to then go into Advanced. You're then going to go to TCP IP, so that one there. And then you're going to need this here. So this is your router. Now you want to copy that. So just copy that. And that's what you're going to need. Also, if you do... Yeah, so that's all you're going to need for my router. You might need more. There's different ways of port forwarding for other routers. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to go to here, and you're going to type in, you're just going to paste what you just did there, and this is going to come up. Now, I've already logged in, but this will probably come up with a bar here that will say username and password. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go on this to this website, it's going to be in the description, and it's going to tell you, you're going to have all the different models of the routers, you can choose your router, it will tell you how to use it here, and then it will tell you the username and the password. So... Mine was, the username was admin and the password was password. That's what most of them are, but yours could be different. So on mine, I have to go to gaming and application sharing. Then you have to create a new game or application. Um, I'm just going to call mine attack of the B team server. Like that. And... In mine, I have to do manual entry of port maps, and I can select anyone I want, it doesn't even matter. Um, so then I hit next. Now, protocol, and you want any, any protocols or both, and you're going to have here 25565 to 25565, and then here you're going to have um, 25565, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to check what mine is, I'll be back in a second. I figured mine out. Mine was 25565 to 25565. I have to leave that one blank and I have to put 25565 in here. Then what you're going to do is, is you're going to hit add and then you're going to have this. So that's what you want. It's going to add that automatically, translate to and all that. So now you're going to have to do, um, so that's it. Now you're going to have to do assign a game or application. Again, this is different for every router. This is just mine. And then what you're going to do is, is you're going to come in here and you're going to select Attack of the B Team server and then you're going to have it off your device. So my computer is called Trent's MVP, it stands for Trent's MacBook Pro, and you're just going to hit add like that. And then it is done. So guys, I'm going to be back um, when I've checked what to do next. Okay guys, now that we're back, you can just close that, close everything, and now you can um, restart your server. Um, just start up your server again. So, start. I'm actually going to put a tag on mine, just so I can see it better. Going to hit start. Now that's going to start up. This time it's going to take much quicker, because you've already loaded all these mods before, and you've already generated the world. So it's going to be quicker. But not saying that it's not going to be quick. It's still going to be quite slow, but quicker than before. So guys, it's just starting Minecraft server version 1.6.4. While we're doing this, you can start up your Attack of the B Team. And that's what I have to do right now. So guys, I'm going to be back when my Attack of the B Team has started and the server has run. So again, it's just going to start up and it's going to say done. Okay guys, my my Minecraft finally loaded because I hadn't realized I haven't played um, Attack of the B Team since the new update. So I have to go through all the updates again.
But I finally got it, so it was worth it. So now, guys, you have a few options to get onto your server. So obviously, here is your server here. So if you put in colon 25565, then it will automatically, um, it will automatically give you your server. So as long as that is, as long as that is column 25565, you will automatically connect to your server. But if you give your friends that, it will not work. It will only work for you. So that's a way of you doing it. Another way is you can do uh, direct connect and you can do local host. Now, this will work if you're if you just if you open to LAN, this will work for anyone else. So if you just open to LAN, this will work. Just direct connect local host. That will also work that will also work because as you can see, logging in. And um here I am. Downloading terrain. And if we have a look at this, uh which one is it? This one, it say Secret X 2002 join the game and then that thing's ahead of us because as soon as we're logging in the server knows that we've joined in the game so as you can see we have stuff here time set 5000 wait I can't do that because I'm not opt so you can go into this one and you can do op secret x2002 so now I'm opt and I can then do slash time set 5,000. So, um, oh, this is actually a good world. And game mode 1. So this is, um, it here. So then if I then disconnect, like that, and I go on to the other one, you'll notice that I'll be hovering in the air. I might fall, actually. So you notice, um, same server. Just going to show you that. So again, I'm just flying in the air. So now I can stand over here. Now the other way to do it, this is probably the best way to do it. This is what um, I usually use. Uh, add server, and then you put in your own IP address. So how, you might ask me, how do you find your IP address? It is really quite simple. Um, all you need to go is it's to your browser, and you can just search up in here. Let's wait for this. Uh, okay, you go open up this tab or another tab or anything. Just, yeah. I'm annoyed right now. My computer's freezing on me. Okay, so you open up the new tab. My god. And you type in what. There's a lot of RAM on my computer right now because of the server. Um, I think so it takes up more RAM. You search up what is my IP in Google. So obviously that's just my Google and stuff. So I can quit you, Firefox. Force quit that one. Force quit. Good. Um, this will eventually load, and it will come up with what you want. <laughs> eventually. Come on, you know there. Okay, I'm gonna pause until this finishes because this could take a while. Okay guys, so what I did then, a much quicker way, if you go to google.com, then type it in in Google, it works way better. So it says your public IP address is that. Now you can, for some reason, you cannot copy and paste this into your Minecraft. So what you need to, now this is also the IP you give to your friends. So you might ask, why do I like using this one? Um, it's pretty simple. Why I like using it is because you can test to see if your server's working. So this is the one that you give to your friends. So mine's 124.177.127.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
I hope you've enjoyed. Um, my portfolio may have not been that good, depending on what sort of router you have. So, again, mine is just, yeah, it's just the router, really. So, mine, uh, that's it, guys. So, you can change your world and stuff by just dragging in the new world. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. And until then, guys, you know what I'm going to say. See you next time. Yeah.